don't care if you have to inch your way day by day, even if you have to get down and it hurts and it's hard and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. I'm telling somebody right now, your lowest moment will be the place of your greatest testimony. Winners fucking win. True. That's it. Okay? You could bitch about losing all day. You could cry about losing all day. You could make every fucking reason about losing all day. No one cares. People only care about the fucking winners. fuck how acceptable your excuse is. It's still a fucking excuse. And that's how the world sees it too. The world does not care about your hardships. If it did, the people who have the most hardships would be the most successful. And that's just not the case. And see, once you can flip that switch, once you can understand that it's not about what people see, it's not about what people think, it's not about you know, somebody else, it's not somebody else's responsibility and you start to understand all this and that it's really about you investing in yourself to build your skills so that long-term you can fucking win, it changes the fucking game, dude. And I'm telling you guys, you young people who are listening to all this victim shit, the popularity of victimhood has never been like this in my entire life. It's like people are in competition for who the fuck the biggest victim is which is a competition for who the biggest fucking loser is going to be. No matter who you are and where the fuck you're from, this is about me getting you to go over here and start investing in yourself as opposed to joining the rest of the fucking clown parade and being nothing forever. Because just that, that your goal is smaller, you can half throttle it. And you can't. You can't. Okay? 
So get this idea out of your head and make the decision now when you're young. should think about what the monster is what's the monster okay because here's the thing and we are all guilty of this me included okay we the longer we allow that monster to live in our brains in our minds the bigger and stronger it gets the scarier it gets the the more powerful it's perceived to be and what ends up happening is we build this thing up to be so much stronger and so much bigger and so much scarier than it actually is, that it causes us a disproportionate amount of anxiety, fear, and frustration in our day-to-day lives, all right? Nothing's that hard, nothing's that bad. And if you would just learn to take care of these things as they come to you, you would learn that there's a lot of freedom in understanding how to kill this monster in your brain when it's a little bitty monster, not a big, bad, scary monster. So it's necessary for us to understand a couple things. One, we have to identify what that monster is that's causing us all this negativity and all this anxiety and all this energy that's bad. And two, we've gotta go slay the motherfucker.